I like video games a lot, though, but the hard part about video games is, like, they teach you bad things. Like, there's this one game called Red Dead Redemption, and it's like a cowboy game. You know, you get to be a cowboy. And all it's made me realize is that, like, I would be the f***ing worst person in the old days. <laughs> you could do anything you wanted in the olden times. Right? There was, everything was just on an honor system. No security cameras, really janky police. You could murder like a hundred people and they just move to the next town over. They're like, all right, fresh start. You know? <laughs> no one did any homework. They're like, well, they left town. I don't know what you want from us. <laughs> we have two sheriffs in this town. I don't know what they're... No, but like in the Wild West, everything would have been easy to do bad. You could like rob a bank and then just shoot anyone that got in your way, right? And then you leave and then you just change your clothes. You take the bandana off your face. <laughs> you could go right back into that bank, like, what happened here? They're like, we don't know. <laughs> A guy, he was wearing red, so we know it's not you, you know? <laughs> I'm like, well, did you get a good look at him? He's like, nope. He had a bandana over his face. <laughs> a goddamn criminal mastermind. That's cool. How many people played Red Dead Redemption? Great game. If you don't know what it is, it's 80 hours of the greatest uh, game of your life. To complete it entirely, it's about 80 hours, roughly. And I got time like that. <laughs> and the thing about the game that's fantastic, and not everyone's gonna get this, but they'll let you do anything. So imagine an open world where like, if I want to just like shoot the stage, it'll leave a bullet hole. Or if I want to just knock over, like you can do anything. They've made everything available in the game to do anything you want, right? But the, the problem with the game is it's 90% super fun where you're just this badass cowboy that f shit up and kills a million people and robs trains and it gets gold and ha has like a you know, wild hunting excursions where you kill bears and you do all this wild shit. And then the last 10% of the game, you're just doing errands for your wife. <laughs> so boring. Yeah, and you're like, I gave that up. And she's like, are you still killing people? You're like, no, I, I didn't, I promise. That was Arthur Morgan, I'm John Marston, so. And she's like, well, we need furniture for the house you built me. And he's like, all right, let's ride the carriage for seven hours into town. Super boring. It's awful. Just play the first 90%. Don't do the epilogues, it's boring. But the reason I'm telling you about this game is because it's so phenomenal. You can do anything you want. You can be good or you can be bad, right? If you want to be good, which is boring. I'm good in real life. I'm the best dude in the world, but in a video game, I want to f it up. I'm good in real life, I don't be good on the game. So on the game, since they let me do anything, and some blind guy comes up and like, help me, hey, do you have any money for the blind? I'm like, boom, just blew his head off. <laughs> I steal the whole thing, just keep it. I'm full bad cowboy, full bad. There's one part of the game, and the people that have played it will vouch for it. There's a part where you meet a nun, and then the nun goes, help me, that boy stole my crucifix. It's my best crucifix, please. And then you have to like chase this little kid through Saint Denis, and he's got this crucifix. And you finally catch this little shit. it takes forever. <laughs> and he's like dressed like a newsie, and you grab it, and he's like, hell, I'm sorry, mister. It's just that I don't have a means to any money, and it's my only way I could survive is by stealing. Please don't hurt me, right? I take my gun, and I just go, boom! I just blew the kid's head off. I walk by all cool, back to the nun, all slow motion, and I hand the crucifix to the nun, and she's like, thank you. I thought I would never see it again. Boof, I just blow her head off too. <laughs> and the game goes to black and white. And it makes me redo that part of the game. Because <laughs> you, you can't advance in the story if you make a decision like that. Which means a game that's most notorious for letting you do anything you want is even like, whoa, man, that's f up. <laughs> I did it all again, too. I caught the kid, boom, I, I did it 40 times. 
because it's just fun, man. They let you do anything. <laughs>